With what rep ranges you train is a common point of discussion. Is it better to use low reps with heavy weights? Or do we need higher reps while lifting lighter weights to build muscle effectively? Well, if I told you that a wide variety of rep ranges work and that the rep range you use in your training is actually less important than one's thought, what matters more than your rep range in muscle growth is the effort you put in on each of your working sets. In today's video, I will discuss the science behind rep ranges so that you have a better understanding of how many reps you should be using in your training sessions to more effectively work towards your goals. You may have heard that for gaining muscle, you need a moderate rep range of 8 to 12 repetitions per set. But now that there is more research on rep ranges and muscle growth, it has become increasingly clear that muscle growth is not limited to a narrow rep range like 8 to 12 repetitions per set. And a 2015 study is a classic example of this. In this study, 18 volunteers were divided into two groups. Group 1 trained with the traditional 8 to 12 rep range to failure, while the second group trained with 25 to 35 repetitions to failure. Both groups gained a similar amount of muscle after an 8-week training period. In another study, researchers had one group trained with sets of 10 repetitions and another group trained with sets of 3 repetitions while matching their training volume. Again, similar muscle growth was found. To provide even more evidence, one research review compiled the data of 21 studies on rep ranges and muscle growth. The researchers found that muscle growth can occur with a variety of rep ranges as long as the volume and intensity of effort is matched. So you don't have to stick to a narrow 8-12 rep range if muscle growth is your main goal. Using 5 or even up to 35 repetitions per set can produce muscle gain as long as you train close to failure. This is great news for those training with limited equipment like in a home gym. If you don't have barbells or machines at your disposal, it's all good. With high repetition dumbbell exercises or even using tools like your backpack, you can have effective workouts as long as you push your muscles to the point of fatigue. Now, just because there is no narrow rep range that mechanistically is best for muscle growth doesn't mean that we can just do whatever in our training and expect the best results. It's also important to consider fatigue management in your workouts. If you perform 25 repetitions or more in every working set, then almost every set you do will feel like a cardio workout. Whereas if you train with less than 6 reps on each set, every set will be mentally demanding and you will put quite a bit of stress on your joints. For this reason, I still have most of my clients train in a moderate rep range of say 5 to 15 repetitions per set. This allows them to accumulate volume more efficiently. On heavy compound movements, we perform 5 to 10 repetitions per set, and with smaller isolation lifts, we stay closer to 10 to 15 repetitions per set. Training in a 5 to 15 rep range is of course a broad range, but that's good, we want to train in a variety of rep ranges. Training with both low and high rep ranges may benefit muscle growth by preferentially targeting type 1 and type 2 muscle fibers. The research is still somewhat mixed about whether it's possible to preferentially target type 1 or type 2 muscle fibers, but training in a variety of rep ranges is still very much worth a go. If anything, your workouts have more variation in them and that helps making your workouts feel less repetitive. Now that we know how many reps are effective for muscle growth, let's look into how intense each of your sets should be if gaining muscle is your main goal. Because regardless of your rep range, you need to train close to muscle failure to get the most out of your sets. This is because the closer a repetition is to muscle failure, the more muscle fibers you need to recruit, a concept known as effective reps. If you leave many repetitions in reserve at the end of a set, your muscles are not challenged and there is no reason for muscle growth to occur. Remember that muscle growth is an adaptation to increase training demands on a muscle. Regardless of the rep range, as long as the muscle is trained beyond its present capacity, it will adapt by growing larger. So we need challenging working sets. Research shows that leaving no more than 1-3 to three repetitions in reserve at the end of every set ensures your sets are challenging enough. This means that if you end a set and you feel like you can still do 4 or more repetitions, then you are leaving some results on the table. There is actually some good research showing that most beginner trainees tend to train too far away from failure. In one study, the participants sometimes left 6 or more repetitions in reserve after each set when they self-selected their weights. This likely is too far away from failure to produce any meaningful muscle growth, so keep a close eye on whether you are actually pushing yourself enough in your working sets. On the flip side, you also don't want to train to complete muscle failure on every working set, since this will typically leave you too fatigued and you cannot optimize performance. If you go all out on every set, then after the first few exercises, your performance will drop a lot and the second half of your workout will suffer in terms of volume. So keeping around 1-2 to two reps in reserve allows you to maintain good performance throughout your workout without burning out and enhances your recovery in between training sessions. With that said, it still is beneficial to periodically train purposely to muscle failure just so you can gauge where your strength is at and more effectively determine your reps in reserve. 
I personally test my maximum strength on the big compound movements through an MRAP every four weeks or so. By doing as many repetitions as possible with my working set weight on the big compound movements every four weeks or so, I get a clear understanding of where my strength is at and can more effectively determine my repetitions during my working sets for the future. This way, I am sure I am not leaving more than one to two repetitions in reserve on my actual working sets. Now, we have discussed what rep ranges are effective for building muscle, but what if building muscle is not your only goal and you're also looking to gain strength or build muscle endurance? In this case, the rep range you use becomes more important. We can see this in a recent 2020 study. The researchers compared the effects of training with 4, 8 and 12 repetitions per set on chest muscle growth. All groups had similar chest muscle growth because they all trained close to failure. But the groups training with 4 and 8 repetitions gained more bench press strength than the group training with 12 repetitions. This happened because strength is a skill that requires specific practice. If you want to become better at lifting heavy weights at lower reps, we have to train at lower rep ranges to accomplish this. The opposite applies if muscle endurance is your goal. If you want to improve your muscle endurance, you need to let your muscles endure more during training by having higher repetition sets. So you can tailor your muscle growth rep range based on what your secondary goal is. Do you want to build muscle and also gain more strength? Then aiming to train mostly with somewhat lower rep ranges like 4 to 8 reps per set makes sense. Whereas if you want muscle growth and more muscle endurance, going for higher reps like 10 plus repetitions per set is beneficial. So to sum up this video, muscle growth is not limited to a narrow rep range of 8 to 12 reps. You can gain muscle with a wide spectrum of rep ranges as long as the number of sets and how close to failure you train are matched. To accumulate volume efficiently, it's a good idea to train mostly in moderate rep ranges. I suggest 5 to 15 reps. To keep all of your sets effective for muscle growth, aim to keep 1 to 3 repetitions in reserve at the end of each set you do. Also periodically train to failure to test where your max strength is at. And lastly, while rep ranges for muscle growth are flexible, if you want to focus on gaining more strength or muscle endurance, you need to tailor your rep range to this. For strength and muscle gain, focus on mostly training in a 4 to 8 rep range. While for muscle endurance, focus on 10 plus repetitions per set. And that was all for today's video. I hope you now have a better understanding of how different rep ranges impact your progress. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then definitely leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you in that next video.